Greetings from TLC Church, Pastor Bob here. You have no doubt seen uh, on TV bears or elk or deer, and uh, they seem to have a season where they fight a lot with other bears and elk and deer. Well, they're fighting because they want the right to mate with the females of the herd or the flock. <laughs> uh, they, they have to get strong in order to do that. Now, when do they prepare for that fight? Because it's coming, the fight is coming to all the males. The males just seem to not be able to get along. <laughs> they try to kick each other out of, the, out of the club, out of the family. So when do they prepare for this fight? Well, they prepare all summer long. They eat to make themselves strong and big and husky. And in order to get ready for this ferocious fight, the male animals cannot wait until the fight begins to start preparing. It's like that in the human life too. We can't wait until the fight begins, the struggle begins. What struggle am I talking about? Well, the struggle against darkness, the struggle against the devil himself. Yeah, it's a fight, it's, it's a battle. And when do we prepare for that battle? Well, we need to prepare for it all the time. I mean, Luke told us in the book of Luke chapter 21, listen to him, uh, verse 36, he said, everyone needs to stay alert. Stay alert, stay awake. You know, in other places, the Bible says the devil roams around on the earth seeking whom he may devour. He wants to eat us up, eat us alive, if, if, if we let him. He says, everyone needs to stay alert and pray to be strong enough to escape the evils of the last days and to stand joyfully before the Son of Man. And that's Jesus. We want to stand before him strong because we've won the battle against the prince of darkness, Satan himself. And we know that every weekend we hear reports of how wicked this world is becoming. Uh, I, I just can't believe some of the things we hear. But we can prepare by prayer and studying in his word. Prepare every day. Father, we just thank you for your word that you've given us as a gift. And also prayer. It's a gift also. I just pray that you will help us to understand those two very important items for our lives to prepare for the days, these days in which we live, uh, these evil last days. In Jesus' name, amen.